one of the one of the most easiest and highly effective uh, to reduce pain is called the pendulum. And I have seen so many um, incorrect instructional videos on how to do the pendulum. Let's look at what it's supposed to do. The pendulum is like what it's called. It's simply just letting the arm hang and letting the weight of the arm pull that ball and socket and open it up so that the weight of the arm pulls the humeral head of your arm down and creates more space in that area that I said was so tight. If you think about it, if that area is tight and we keep moving our arm, we just keep creating more and more inflammation and we move it and irritate it and move it and irritate it and it becomes a vicious cycle. So what we want to do is create a little more space here so that we can get some blood flow and some healing going on as well as pain relief. So let's just try this. You're going to find a table and I'm going to say that it's my right shoulder. So you put your left foot in front. And for those of you that are in my Tai Chi class, it could be a bow stance. And then just, here's my table. I'm gonna rest my arm on the table. And then keeping your back nice and protected and straight. In other words, you're not gonna hunch over. And let the arm simply just hang. And the hardest part about this is releasing any tension. So you're not holding the arm at all. You just let, let it hang like an elephant's trunk or like a pendulum. And once you let it hang, then you want to try to move it without engaging the muscles. So kind of like Tai Chi. And so I'm going to move it from my feet and I'm going to make very, very small movements. Now, if you can see that, the, that I have no muscle engagement whatsoever, the movement I'm going to exaggerate is coming from my body. And you want to keep it small. I've seen some instructional videos where they're making the big circles and big swinging in the arm. No, you want to keep it small because we want to open the space, create blood flow, and just use gravity to traction the humeral head out of the socket. And once you've got it just relaxed and hanging, you can just sort of move your lower body a little bit to move that arm around. Notice I'm not moving it here. I'm letting it hang. So if somebody came up to me and bumped my arm, it would be loosey-goosey. And then I'm gonna change directions. Now, some of you will ask about maybe putting a weight in here. Again, this is not a resistive exercise. There's really no reason to put a weight in it. If you wanna create a little more traction, then you can just get a soup can. This is a can of beans. <laughs> and you can use that to create a little bit more traction here and let the arm go and let the weight of that can just bring the arm down. Okay, so I'm opening up the space. My muscles are soft and relaxed. The arm's just hanging and the soup can's creating a little bit more traction or space here for me. And you will be surprised how much that very simple strategy will help to relieve pain for you. And you, again, you can do it as many times in a day as you want. And there's not like, don't think I have to do 10 this way and 10 that way. Just do whatever feels comfortable. And you can do it anywhere. Just anytime your shoulder starts to ache or hurt, then just do a pendulum exercise. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my tutorials, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and Go visit my website at taichisusan.com. Thanks for watching.